What's going on you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. I'm putting on my rain boots because uh, for the 407th day in a row, it is raining in South Carolina. It's pretty miserable, I hate it so much. I'm ready for spring, but that's okay. <clears throat> so today's video is just gonna be a quick vlog for you guys. I'm actually gonna head back to the antique mall that I was at yesterday. Uh, a couple of viewers reached out and wanted me to get things for them that I showed in the video but I didn't buy. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff for them. I'll probably go to a couple more thrift stores or something like that and then maybe go to the post office to check my mail and do a little mail time at the end of the video. So stick around, it should be fun. I wanted to put some music in this spot, but it turns out when your windshield wipers go in time-lapse mode, it looks like crazy black spaghetti. All right, so we're here at the Goodwill Bins location here in uh, West Columbia, South Carolina. And I don't know, we might find some good stuff in here. Usually you can tell if they put out good stuff by how many cars are in the parking lot. And today it's kind of sparse. So that makes me think that they didn't really put out anything this morning, but I could be wrong. Sometimes I found some really good stuff when there are just a few cars in the parking lot. Um, but since I'm out here walking around in the rain, you guys should just go ahead and subscribe because uh, I could get pneumonia or something. So my first find at the bins today was this Jordan Gatorade shoe. I thought it was pretty interesting. I did eventually look up sold comps and it looks like they're selling for like 50 to 60 bucks plus shipping, but I couldn't find the other one. I looked near it, I looked all over the place. I just could not find the match to this shoe. Um, the shoes, it looked like they had just put out a, a bin of shoes and usually that means they're fairly organized. They, they try to rubber band all of them together, but I looked high and low, could not find the other one. I did stumble upon this. I think this is a Jordan 1, maybe? I'm not sure, I'm still trying to learn Jordans. Let me know in the comments down below which model Jordan this is. But again, I could not find the match to it. It was so frustrating. So at the end, I had to leave both shoes behind. I couldn't find the pair to this Jordan Gatorade shoe or this yellow and white Jordan 1s, which is really frustrating because both of these, if they were complete, would be worth about 50 to $60. I'll just look. Okay. You don't want that? No, no. Okay. You can't have it. Thank you. So this hat brand was Resistall, and when I looked up sold comps, they were as high as $800 for used hats. So I definitely decided to pick this up. I just need to do a little bit more research to figure out exactly how much it's really worth. Yeah, I almost didn't get it, but I think it's worth a dollar thirty-nine. I appreciate you. See you next time. See ya. All those shoes in there, and I couldn't find a single pair that had a match to it. It's so frustrating. I don't. Whatever. So I'm gonna head into the retail side right here and see what we can find. Excuse me. I bought this hat next door. Don't oh, think I'm trying to steal it. <laughs> Okay, these are kind of dirty, but I think they're super cool looking. I think it's worth it to try to clean these up a bit. I'll get them. 
Find anything good today, John? No, I ain't finding nothing all week. Yeah. Put out all those shoes, but I can't find a, a match in them. <laughs> well, if I watch for you, you know, you like done pretty good at that Lexington store. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's hit or miss, man. What is that, a new Lexington store? Uh, it's down the same road. You just go down this road, like. Oh, it's on the right down there past yeah, Interstate? Yeah, it's one of the newer ones, but it's been yeah. built for two years or so. Yeah, yeah, I remember, right? And I sell it, I sell at various places like auctions, the flea markets, and, mm -hmm. and eBay and Amazon. Yeah. So I'm considering to use them carry. Yeah, I've sold two things on there. Yeah, I had never sold nothing on them. In fact, they name all kind of sites they use. I know I was, I had to put the LitGo app on my phone and it was so aggravating. It's costly. People yeah. getting the alerts. Yeah. And somebody had something for sale. Yeah. And I figured out what LitGo means. It's when somebody tells you to meet them in a field and you're hollering, let go of my wallet, let go of my wallet. <laughs> All right, uh, you have a good one. All right, man, you too. Excuse me. Thank you, man. There was some music playing and it wasn't mine. So I guess I'll have to write a new song each time. There wasn't anything that I could flip today. But it's fine, I'll buy these shoes and I'll be on my way. Okay, so all I found in that location were these uh, Puma suede shoes, which are pretty cool. I think I can get them cleaned up and maybe get like 35 bucks for them. They're pretty unique uh, colorway action going on. So now let's head to, I don't know, another thrift store? <laughs> I don't know, let's see what happens. Crazy black spaghetti. Crazy black spaghetti. So now I'm at this new Goodwill. Uh, I came here last week twice, so I don't know if there's gonna be anything left, uh, but never hurts to try. Once again, the music in this Goodwill was too loud, but I'm all out of creative juices for today. So this pair of Nike shoes were in pretty good condition. $6.50, went ahead and picked them up. The music started up again as I was looking at this pair of Kevin Durant's. I think that's what these are, but they were in terrible condition. Then I happened to look down and find this pair of Hoka One Ones. I used to call them Hoka One Ones, but apparently it's Hoka One One. Uh, very good condition, a little dirty, $6.50. Went ahead and grabbed them. Found this pile of hats and I picked up this Adidas Tennessee Volunteers hat. Really good condition, no stains or holes or anything, 100% adjustable, and it was only $1. Another hat I found in this pile was this women's Nike Golf Visor. I don't know if this is a coral or salmon color, but pretty desirable colorway, I think. Went ahead and picked it up. I found this pile of remotes on the back electronic shelf and I actually did go through and look up all of these models and I thought I could make some money because they were only 92 cents each but none of them were worth anything like three or four dollars free shipping on some of them so I just passed. So I forgot my Ikea bag again but I refuse to use plastic bags because I need to set an example for you guys so now I'm just carrying everything so help me learned my lesson about forgetting my Ikea bag. I was able to find some cool stuff. Got that pair of Hoka's, both the Hoka's and the Nike's were both $6.50. Uh, and the, both of the hats were a dollar, I think. Paid 15 bucks all together for everything. So the Hoka's, once I get them cleaned up, I mean, they're in really good condition. A little bit of wear right there, but overall very good condition. Just gotta get them cleaned. I'm gonna ask probably $50 for these plus shipping. I'm just gonna start listing high because Hoka's are an item that I think a lot of people undersell on. These things new are like 120 bucks or so. So if you find a pair that's, you know, just gently worn, just a little dirty and you can get them cleaned up, I think asking 50 bucks plus shipping is totally fair. These Nikes aren't anything super special. These are Nike Flex Contact. They're men's size 11 and a half, I think. Yeah, uh, just gotta clean up the soles right there. And I think you can probably get like 25 bucks for them plus shipping. 
And then the hats, this Tennessee hat is an Adidas hat. So I think I could probably get like 15 bucks for that plus shipping. And this uh, really nice Nike Golf women's visor. This is perfect for some rich lady to wear to the Masters, uh, even though it's not an actual Masters hat. So uh, I'll probably ask like $18 on that plus shipping. All right, so we are back today at the Old Mill Antique Mall. A subscriber named Blind Hussy uh, said that she wanted me to pick up that uh, pinup girl bottle opener for her. So I'm gonna go here and pick that up. Hello. 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 So squeaky. Uh, these doors are ten bucks. Hey, how are you? Very well. I'm gonna pick this up today. I had a viewer say she wanted me to buy it for her. Uh, oh, it's a yeah, little bottle of And 20% off. Awesome. 12.84. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And final receipt. Awesome. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. All right, blind hussy, I got your bottle opener for you. It was $12.84. So I'll uh, shoot me an email and we'll get it to you. Also had a couple guys ask me about those PO box doors. They were $10 each, uh, but they didn't have keys. There's the, the big ones and the small ones were both $10, uh, but no keys. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know in a comment in this video and I'll go back tomorrow and buy those for you guys. Link in the description. So I went to the post office today and I have three packages to open and four postcards to read, which I will do in just a second. But first I wanna share this really cool story with you guys. This past Sunday night, we had a get together at our church with another church body. So we had like a little meal afterwards and it was in the gym, everyone was just hanging out and I helped like clean up some chairs and stuff. And afterwards we were like playing basketball and everybody was just sitting around talking. And as I was just sitting there goofing around, a lady named Miss Joanne said, hey Josh, why don't you go try a backwards half court shot like you always do because guys i'm telling you i'm really good at making half court shots backwards i don't know it's just a special skill i have okay and she's seen me try it many times so i was like yeah miss joanne of course i'll definitely try that there was probably 40 or 50 people in the gym so i had a pretty good audience so uh I'm not gonna say what happened next. I am actually gonna show you the security footage from the gym that night. Let's, let's take, take a look at that. Okay, so so there, there I am, and there's this lady, and she's asking me to make a half court shot backwards. She's like, oh, go do that. I was like, okay, I'll do that. Don't look, straight back behind the back, swoosh it. <laughs> It was like I won the freaking Super Bowl. <laughs> you saw that. You did it. And then I'm just walking around telling everybody. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I was just feeling so good. Like the chances of that happening, first try. Like I, I'm pretty good at making that shot. I'd say one out of every 20 tries, I'll, I'll make it. But for first try in front of all, in front of all those people, uh, I was feeling good. Woo! Okay, so I actually have three postcards. So the first one is from Alaska. Look at that grizzly bear. Looks just like the one back back up there on the wall exactly exactly the same <laughs> not really so this one is from Alaska and it says hello exclamation point thank you for the great inspiring videos and all your wonderful reseller advice it is much appreciated S appreciated <laughs> appreciated sincerely baldy earthquake Really? Baldy earthquake? 
Okay, all the earthquake from Alaska. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I, I've got a uh, yeah, I've got Alaska on my map down there, so I will put this up. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. This next one is from the Grand Canyon. Look at that beautiful Grand Canyon. And this says, greetings from sunny Arizona, eBay and Amazon seller here. My wife and I really enjoy your what sold videos. Keep making good content. God bless Gary and Robin. Gary and Robin, thank you guys so much. I'll stick this up on the board. This one, Cityscape. Well, uh, what, what is this? This is Freeman Square, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, so this is from Colleen and Chris K. We'll say Chris K. Uh, yeah, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Your energy and positive attitude has encouraged us to start our eBay store, Cat Scratching Post. God bless you and your family. Colleen and Chris, thank you guys so much for sending me this. I really appreciate it. So now we have three packages to open and uh, TBH, I've already opened this one. Uh, I just got too excited, I couldn't wait. I'll read the card first. This is from Lucy Creek Outfitters 2. Uh, yeah, it says, Fan from Ladies Island, South Carolina. I watched your golf video on YouTube. Very innovative, but hard to follow. Thank you for your honesty. I appreciate that. I still watch and would watch again if you were on a golf course. I had a chance to play Harbor Town Golf Course this week, sending you some souvenirs. Thank you for your inspiration. So let's see what souvenirs they sent me. So they sent me a scorecard from Harbor Town Golf Links. This is really, really cool. If you guys don't know, Harbor Town is a really great golf course. I think it's in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Uh, very expensive. And they play some professional tournaments there. The uh, I forget what tournament I forget what tournament it is, but it's right after the Masters. Um, but yeah, so cool, cool card there, man. I appreciate that. I haven't opened this yet. Oh, it's golf tees. It's golf tees from Harbor Town. It's got little it's got little lighthouses on them from Harbor Town. Thanks, man. Next package I've also already opened. This is from Angie's Oddities, Miss Angie, uh, Angela, excuse me. And this says Josh from Harry Tornado and Moe's. So she sent Moe's a little gift here. Sent him a little frisbee and it says Moe's heart, have fun. And he definitely will. Thank you so much. Moe's is going to love this. Moe's! Moe's, come here! Take it. Go. Go play. I think he's a little nervous, but he definitely will play with it. Thank you so much, Miss Angela. I appreciate that. Let's see what else you sent. Yeah, the card. I've already opened the card as well. Very impatient. This was a cat card. Boo. And it says, hello from Wisconsin. Sorry, it's not a postcard. Hey, Josh. Thank you for everything you have taught me over the last months. Please enjoy the Frisbee for Moe's. Sincerely, Angie, Angie's Oddities. Angie, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And the last package of the day is this uh, Powder Flat Red Envelope. I have not opened this yet, so this is going to be a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's just a return. <laughs> it's just some shoes I had returned. Not a surprise at all, most. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. If you guys enjoyed this video at all, be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me. It takes like a second, and it really helps the channel out a ton. Also, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel. I am putting out a ton of new content lately, so if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe for more. Also, I'm feeling pretty generous, so if you guys want one of these mugs and you don't want to buy one, just drop a comment on this video and I'll pick a random winner to win a free mug. And let's say tomorrow. Let's get, let's, let's say 24 hours from the time this video is uploaded, I will choose a winner for a free mug. That way it won't be a huge pool of people to, to sift through for a winner. It'll increase your chances of, uh, of winning. So drop a comment on the video if you want to win the mug. Smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time tremendously. You're the best, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Wow.